This is Dick. Claire's pasty producing pirate from Plymouth. Right, well, I don't know what this is. This definitely isn't my brother. I live in Plymouth. Woo, go Plymouth. And um, I work with two of my brothers. We've got a catering business. There was a feather in my room, a little white feather. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's Mum. So I've got, I've got her in my pocket. I put her in my pocket, my shirt pocket. Mum, she's not with us anymore, but um, she was an amazing woman, Mum was, yeah. She would have loved this. She would be going, yes, yes, go on, Dickie. She used to call me Dickie Dido. It might have been nothing at all, but just the fact that, I mean, we've spoken about that before, haven't we, little white feathers, and that's Mum. What sort of girl would your mum like? Someone who's got the right heart, someone who's going to be kind to me and love me. She wouldn't care about anything else. Yeah, I'm just about to go in. Meet, hopefully, the love of my life. Wouldn't that be lovely? Yeah, that'd be great. I like somebody who's got interests, things that they're passionate about. Could be anything. Oh, here we go. Could be dog walking, could be salsa dancing, whatever. What's your, what's your life like at the moment, though? So you're back in Plymouth. Back in Plymouth. And your family are... Only Dad left now. Mum died a couple of years ago. Oh. She's That's actually, so there's a little, I, there, was a, there was a feather. <gasps> Feathers, white in, feather? In my room. A friend of mine, she told me that if you see a white feather, that's your, that's your guardian angel. I remember you told me, but I've just, it's just one of those things yeah. I've just been brought up with. So, she's just in my pocket. Oh my God. Oh. My parents got divorced when I was 14. I hated, hated them arguing. When Dad left, and I remember him crying as he was telling us. And it's, it's really weird memories because I remember I had my school bag and I was walking down our driveway with the, with the, the strap over my eyes to stop me crying. When did she die? Two and a half years ago. Oh, so not long ago. Not, not, not too long ago, no, no. As an adult, I understand how difficult it, it would have been and what pressures he would have felt, what pressures Mum would have felt. But from that point on, she brought us all up. You can't imagine how hard it would, have, it would have been for her. And all the while, she was clearly heartbroken. I'm so it, sorry. It no, it's just right. It happened. No, but parent, mums, I just can't imagine. I mean, it's just that. one of those things where yeah. we just... I mean, she, she, would have loved, she would have loved me being here. She would have absolutely loved it. She's one of those people who used to sing all the time, so she'd say something, like, she, even if she's asking for a cup of tea, she'd, she'd sing it, I'll have a cup of tea, please, or something like that. She's always, always making us laugh, making our friends laugh. Um, she was just really bubbly. She was, she was an amazing woman, Mum was, yeah. We were just really fortunate. We were so lucky to have such an amazing mum. Everyone's mum should, have, should be like my mum. Lovely for mum to have her son say that about her. Yeah, well, that, that's maybe why she put herself in my. Oh, it's just beautiful. Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.